I have been studying the scriptures from the time I was a teenager. And I love the Book of Mormon, but Isaiah was kind of one of those ones where there were maybe one or two verses <laughs> I had marked. But I'm reading through, I'm seeing these big names, and I'm like, okay, I'm really not getting it. But it was several years ago, one of my friends suggested to me that the deliverance, that word is in the very first chapter of 1 Nephi, 1 Nephi 20. He says, I will show you that the uh, covenants of the Lord and the power of the Lord are over all those whom he hath chosen because of their faith to make them mighty even unto the power of deliverance. And when my friends shared that with me, I began to study the Book of Mormon looking for deliverance, ways that the Lord delivers. And I'll have to tell you, it was going great, and I was seeing it in all of First and Second Nephi. But when I got to the Isaiah chapters, these are stories about redemption and deliverance and salvation. And they just started speaking to me on a very deep and personal level that the Lord has delivered me from so many things. And I just started writing in my margins of my scriptures. Oh, the Lord delivers you from being an orphan or he delivers you from blindness, he delivers you from bondage, he delivers you from captivity. And all of these deliverances were there. And I started thinking back on my own life, where has Christ delivered me? And I just saw it in my life. And so Isaiah became this place of, of, of how the Lord actually interacts with me. Mm -hmm. And all of the different examples Isaiah uses about moms and about husbands and wives and about all of the way he, he puts it really speaks to the things that are happening in my life. It's been really powerful. Isaiah has become alive for me because of that. And did you see in verse five, I'm sure this is probably already underlined, but when you said that, I looked down um, the great plan, the eternal plan of deliverance yes. is what he calls it. He doesn't yes. call it the plan of salvation. Yes. Which I just love because it's all about the atonement. It's all about repentance. It's all about coming into Christ. Mm -hmm.